Hey, I'm Constance, and I'm here with Krista Barmer, who has got a song clip on the site. If you haven't checked it out yet, it's called Beautiful People, so click on that. But I first met Krista, I don't know, three or four years ago when I heard you sing that song, Beautiful People, um, at a church meeting. Mm -hmm. And I remember thinking, wow, how great. You were kind of, you had this vibe going. And Did you come out on bare feet even maybe? And, I think uh, so. Yeah, and just being yourself and um, sang that song. And then later we were able to have you be part of the Making Peace with Imperfection show that we did. And mm -hmm. I just love that you have this free spirit about you, about talking about body image stuff. Now, you and I talked a couple days ago about that, and I know you've had a, a sort of a lifetime of wrestling with your body. So tell me a little bit about that. Right. Well, I've never had what I would consider a full-blown um, eating disorder like anorexia or bulimia, but throughout my life I have struggled with insecurity, perfectionism, uh, just a, a skewed perspective of how I view my body and um, not sure exactly how that started or how that came about and can't blame the media, you know, mm -hmm. it's something that's going on in me, but um, just, yeah, I've always struggled a little bit with that insecurity and comparing myself to other people. And so, are, was it that you would focus on particular parts of your body? Because like, I, when I look at you, I'm like, oh, she's so <laughs> cute. So, you know, what is it? And I know that everybody can't see the full length of our bodies and everything, but I'm just wondering, were there parts of you that just didn't line up with stereotypes maybe that you thought you were supposed to Absolutely. Fit? I'm a, a pretty short 5'1 mm -hmm. girl and um, have always, you know, wanted the long slender legs and I have my aunt's legs that are a little shorter and I've always wanted the slim hips and I've got my grandma's hips and um, I've always wanted the slender arms and I've got my mom's strong arms and um, as I have grown, I have learned to appreciate that I carry all these women in my family, I carry mm -hmm. their beauty with me mm -hmm. and it tells a story of them and carries on who they are, but it is a, it is a daily battle and it is a daily battle to accept who I have been made to be. I know it's so hard. Now when you mm -hmm. say, that's such an interesting thing that you say that you carry those women with you. Mm -hmm. When you were growing up and you saw your mother, your grandmother, your aunts, mm -hmm. did you make judgments about their bodies? Absolutely not. Did you think, oh, if only mom was thinner, I would think she was prettier, right? Absolutely not. We didn't not. even think about yeah, that stuff. Exactly. And it, it, it is a rich heritage to just embrace you know, who we are. It's just, it's, it changes the way that we interact with people. And right. Now, you are a writer. Yes. In addition to being a singer, and of course she's written a letter here, and you can click that link too to check out that letter, but you also enjoy writing. Now you're getting ready to do even more freelance writing and articles and even working on books talking about these issues. So what, what is your passion then? What, what do you hope to get across to others who may struggle in this way? I just hope that women will be able to embrace the beauty, their inherent beauty, who they truly are, and just accepting accepting themselves as is. Um, we mm -hmm. see these airbrushed magazine covers and I just uh, have to flinch every time I see one because that is not the standard for beauty and there are so many beautiful women of all shapes, sizes, colors, ethnicities, everything. And um, I just, I, I hope that the things that I write about and sing about can encourage women to really see their beauty their unique beauty. Well, and I love that because, you know, here at Finding Balance, we're about challenging cultural lies. And so mm -hmm. I think there's going to be so many fun things we can do and you, the viewers, can do. And we'll hook you up with ways to be part of changing the tide on how we feel about our bodies and how we choose to see ourselves. So thanks again for your time, for Thank your music, you. for your letter. And, and we'll catch you guys later.